Hey guys, it's Dave from TheUnlogger.com and maybe you've been installing way too many jailbreaks on your newly jailbroken iPhone. Um, and you're stuck in a boot loop or the phone won't respond or there's some issue. Well, thanks to Mobile Substrate or now called Cydia Substrate, um, there is actually a safe mode built in that will actually disable itself um, when you boot up the device so that way you can go in and still access whatever you need to and remove the jailbreaking tweak that's causing the issue. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get that going. And let's pretend that this iPhone is stuck. Whether it's in a boot loop or stuck on a screen, it doesn't matter. Um, we're going to hold down home and power at the same time and keep holding them. And this is our kind of emergency shut off. So wait till the Apple logo comes up and goes away again. Then you can let go. And now the device is off. Then to get it into the safe mode with uh, mobile substrate now called Cydia substrate, we're going to turn it on by holding volume up and power at the same time. Once you see the Apple logo, you can let go of power and just keep holding volume up. Keep holding it and holding it and holding it until the device boots up. Um, and this, basically what it does is it'll disable anything that was using mobile substrate because it disables mobile substrate. Um, and then you can now get into whatever you need to get into uh, to be able to go to Cydia and remove the apps and all of that fun stuff. So once this comes up, you can unlock your screen. And like I said, you'll see when we go into settings here, you'll see that uh, I had Winterboard and some other things that were listed in here. They're no longer listed because mobile substrate isn't working. So that's how you know that we're in safe mode. And you can open the Cydia store. And when it loads, click on Manage down here at the bottom, then Packages. And then whatever you downloaded last is most likely the culprit. Um, but yeah, you can go in here and pick whatever it is and go tap on the item, then hit Modify, then hit Remove. Confirm. And once it's done, return to Cydia. And then you can reboot your device um, and not hold the power button this time. You'll be back in normal with mobile substrate or Cydia substrate running. And you will know if that was the culprit or not. If it wasn't and you're still in a boot loop, you can just repeat this process until you get rid of whatever the jailbreak tweak was. Um, and that way you don't have to worry about messing up your device when trying out new jailbreaks. And there you go. I hope that helped some of you. And if you'd like to check out some of our other tips and tricks or other how-to videos, feel free to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, or subscribe to our YouTube channel.